get from cement, please? That we are. And uh, this is Ricky Koi reunion uh, of the band. Over there. <laughs> hey. Right, yeah, this is our little reunion after two years, you know, of, of being apart. We're back together again. It's been a long two years. I'm sure it's been a lot longer for you fans because we know how devoted you are to us. Yeah. And we appreciate and respect that quite a bit. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you to, to give you what you deserve. Yep. Yeah. That's really our desire, you know, is to uh, give you guys the, what you've been waiting for, you know, and to kind of open up this new air. <laughs> yeah. This new era, no, so. era? I don't know. Open up this new time of uh, of our of our band. Uh, we'd like to dedicate this song that we've written for you uh, we, uh, to you. We'd like to dedicate it to you, all you fans. It's been two years, two long years. Um, had a lot of time to grow. Yeah, we've grown apart. I mean, not apart from each other because we're together still. Forever. But separately, we're able to grow, do our own projects, yeah. um, learn from the different places and cultures and things that we saw. And now, we're going to bring our new talents, new, new um, things that we've learned, new growth, back into the band. And hopefully, provide you something that is worthy of the great heights which has been reached before. A parting, specifically number 18 in Norwegian charts. Um, still to this day, probably a groundbreaking record setting moment for this band. And uh, we hope that we can attain such great heights um, in the future. So, though we are missing a member, he's still out, you know, saving the wheel, yeah. per usual. But um, the returns will be simply three parts of that three instead of. Two thirds. But it's all right because it's uh, we, yeah, exactly. We'll be working with him, of course, when he gets back. Um, he'll be bringing, of course, other great things to the band. But well, uh, he's always brought. Yeah. Exactly. So, but this this song that we've got for you today, uh, it only has uh, two parts, and so it'll be uh, it'll be complete. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so, so um, yeah, um, I'm actually a bit nervous. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. It's been a long time since we played this sort of stage specifically. Yeah. Um, we had our, our gigs over in the other countries and everything, but solo, but not really solo legs, just sort of hey. spreading out for some mental piece of rhyme kind of thing. Exactly. We've got new fans in foreign countries now. It's a uh, reason I have before because of our influence. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be a great, great time. So um, we just had our, our chief chef made us some, some smoothies to get us ready for this. Get our chops going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A good thing in those is that you've got you to take a smoothie before you sing. And a guitarist too. Yeah, because... As a guitarist, voice is actually really important. Yeah. Bass guitarist. You know. It's not that they're always harmonising or singing backups, but you don't know, right, when your guitar is going to go out and you have to fill it in with your vocals, right? Yeah. And actually, also, smoothies, they help your ears, your eardrums uh, clear up, and so you'll be able to hear the tuning better. Yeah. They, the, uh, the fruit, fruit is actually known to help improve your, your cognitive resonance in your ears. Yeah. Um, it loosens up your, your, what's the name, the stirrup of your ear, so the little tiny bone. And it allows you to have, to discern finer noises. Now when you're on the stage and you've got big amps right behind you, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard to hear what somebody else is doing on the stage, but if, if you have better recognition of what's going on around you, um, you know, it's not going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so this movie's a yeah. hugely important yeah. right? And this is actually a, a special smoothie that uh, only our friend knows how to make. It's made of, uh, well, we don't even know what's in it. 
and it's really important that we have this. <laughs> it's a special blend of, um, I think it's, how many, how many fruits are in this? How many, how many kinds of fruits? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve kinds of fruits. I'm um, pretty sure, yeah, there's a huge rage about the, the Noni, Noni fruit. Yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's one of them. So this smoothie is actually valued at over six hundred dollars per per eight ounces. Exactly. Or as we say in New Zealand, um, five hundred twenty-one milliliters. Yeah. So. So. With that said, and with with this. Uh, sorry, I'm not done it, but continue. Speaking. Sorry. With this uh, special protein smoothie descending down my esophagus, I'm ready to, um, you know... Localise? Exactly. Harmonise? There too. Specialise? No, you correct the... the oh, right, right, yeah, sorry. The eight <coughs> but, yeah, so, now I've just got to do my exercises. <coughs> got to get ready, you know? Spend a lot of time, um, yeah. particularly, like... You gotta make sure your vocal pathways are straight, because exactly. it's proven that if you don't sing for a long time and even speak, your vocal pathways constrict and actually turn diagonal. Yeah. So, personally, I like this one a lot. Put both <laughs> hands on the back of the couch, stretch it out. Head's back. Mm -hmm. uh, Since we usually brief chest out, legs up if you can manage, but I can't. So this works pretty good because we we always perform couches, couches. If you didn't notice, I think it's kind of a more intimate environment, you know. Yeah. I just feel like because when you're on the stage, right, the shirt's really cool and you're sort of above everybody, but it's because you're above everybody, you know. So it's turning into English, yeah. It's all right. So you're standing on the stage. You're above everyone, right? Everybody, right? Well, it's it's almost like they can't interact with you because there's the stage barrier and there's there's you up there and the crowd is down there. Yeah. And it's as if you're not even part of the crowd, you know. Exactly. Like on the couch, you could be like that. That guy could be in my living room right now. I could be listening to him. Exactly. So that's that's kind of a little tradition here in uh, Frosted Mantelpiece. I really think it's it's part of the, the appeal of Frosted Mantelpiece, part of the the worldwide phenomenon. 